Welcome into Let Me Put a List Together along with Brian Mitchell. I'm Mark Grody. I think we got a real unique list this week because there are 12 months and not every month is the same. Guess what we're doing on Let Me Put a List Together today? We're going to rank the months, Mitchell. Reaching for ideas, went to Facebook. Uh, do you remember the guy's name? Tony Laddie, was it? Yeah, yeah, Tony yeah. Tony Laddie uh, replied and I think he was trying to do like a smart ass comment. He's like, hey, just rank the months. And I was like, that's really a great freaking idea. We should just rank yeah. the months because I mean, you know, every month has either a highlight or a low light or yeah, we're going to take the 12 months. We're going to rank them. And uh, Mark Grody is going to start us off. But before he does that, he's going to talk about the business. So Mark, please tell our listeners about Let Me Put a List Together and what they should do since they are fans and listening. First of all, the the months of the year are January, February, March. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, I'm asking you the business. Oh. Whenever oh. I say the business, it's, you know, oh. hey, you can find well, us on this, 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 and oh, this. Please subscribe, that. da, da, da. Oh, so you should have just done it. We're, well, first of all, we are the Podcast Entertainment Network. Um, you could also find us Apple Podcasts. I know that we're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're mm -hmm. basically everywhere. And I just invite you to Google, let me put a list together, or Google Brian Mitchell, or <laughs> Google Mark Grody, and you can find out all about our lives. Now, we don't need to list the months. You know what they are. They're one through 12, you start with January and with December. So Thanks, as Brian. we go into the first month, it's Mark's turn to go first this week because I went first last week on our TV theme. So Mark, what is your least favorite month? February. February. Okay. And please notice how I say February. Yeah. Let's all I take give a listen. February. <laughs> I give, like, unlike most people, I give February. It's R. And I'll admit that it is a cumbersome word. So we'll start mm -hmm. there. This month to me is, it's an impossible where does <laughs> February get off being uh -huh. 28 days? They're like, That's you right. know what? We're not we're not in it for the full 30 no, or 31. We're just, you know, we're, throw in a few days. We'll take a few off and no big deal. It's lazy. It really <laughs> it's is. Lazy. It's kind of no man's land for winter. It's like you're sick of it by, mm -hmm. by feb February. Yep. Yep. We'll just call it R. It's the month okay. of R. <laughs> like you're ready for the next month to roll around. You're ready for a break. So there's really nothing positive. And, you know, people will say, well, there's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. But really... Really, and I think this goes for most people. I can say this: that Valentine's Day, could, it's unnecessary stress. Whether you're married or single, you know, I think that there are obstacles for both. For married couples, you got to figure out what to do. How do we celebrate this? And then for a single guy like me, you know, I mean, like mm -hmm. if if you're new in a relationship, you got to get a big gift. If you're, you know, five <laughs> months in, do you have to, you know, get something? Like I don't know. I've had some very disappointing girlfriends <laughs> in my, <laughs> my past in February. Let's just put it that way. As you said, it's still cold as hell. It's a short month. I guess that could be a good thing, though, since we're talking about how cold it is during that time. The only highlight that I actually find the light in the darkness is my kids hockey season, which gets me out of the house. Thank God. Wife's birthday is during them then. So that's a good thing. And, uh, OK, you okay. know, Valentine's Day, we're married. We don't do the big Valentine's Day thing. I think once you, you know, get into, you know, being together for so many years, it's like, uh, whatever. I'm Back gonna... to the basement with you. That's right. That's it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's You know what, though? It's a with my robot. It's a key time to go on vacation though. So man, if you can do it, that's the best month to get the hell out of here. Mm. And, uh, of course, sports highlight. Uh, most of the recent Super Bowls have been uh, in the beginning of February. So True, true. I'll give you that. So we're we're excited about that. But that's about it. So February is number 12, and that was Mark. So I'm going to move it up to number 11, and that is going to be February's long-lost black sheep brother, January. January, it's cold. Forget it. It's just cold. You go to the car, it's cold. You get out of the car, it's cold. It's always cold and it's after the holidays. So that means that all of that excitement and all of that gluttonous behavior is now gone. It's destitute. It's dark all the time. Everyone's broke and no one's drinking because it's dry January. People are trying to get on a diet you're losing vitamin D because there's limited sun. The only highlight is my dear friend, Mark. It is his birthday on Thank January 9th. But uh, other than the greatness of that, January absolutely sucks. As low as it can be on my list, Mark, in January. So you go ahead. You save yourself when you acquiesce <laughs> to the fact that it is the greatest day because of my birthday <laughs> and all that goes with it. You were on a, you were on a bad run there for a second. But uh, okay. yeah. 
Yeah. So New Year's Day is pretty fucking awesome. Okay. I think that January 9th is pretty freaking awesome as well because that is my birthday. But really, you're right. It's like a two hit wonder. <laughs> two great dates and then done. Two done. and out, yeah. baby. Strike That's two it. and you're out in, yeah. the, in the month of January. No After one's those calling. Two days, no one's yeah. texting. Right. You're trying to text, but you really don't even know if you want to text. You don't know if you should text January. You're just, <laughs> you're just leave it to two, two hit and it's just not working. Right? It's like a gopher. He just kind of sticks his head up. He's like, okay, January one. That's cool. January 9th. Happy birthday, Mark. I'm going back exactly. and in our ca- back in the house, sit down and watch <laughs> NFL playoffs. And I got to tell you, I've gotten ripped off a lot having a January birthday. The old oh, two yeah. for one. Here's this oh. counts as your Christmas dinner and your birthday. Oh dinner. my gosh. How could they yeah. do that to you? But that was yep, probably pop- it's happened. That was probably popular in the early 80s, though. So, you know, it was. I mean, like, I, I and I kind of like, I get it now. Like, how exhausting. Yeah. How, the, like, you just spent like your entire budget on gifts. Oh, fuck. It's Grody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. It's just past the first of the year. And, you know, we're trying to eat right. And here comes Grody's birthday and everybody's going out to eat again. So you yeah, can't start your diet until after January 9th. That's when you can't. Right. Start. And I always feel compelled to go to like, you know, Long John Silver's or Red Lobster. I don't know why I'm p- picking out bad seafood <laughs> places, but like I never feel like anybody's budget is worthy Ooh, of yeah. my birthday. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, like, we can just whatever. We can just yeah. order pizza or something yeah. and watch the game. You know, I totally get it. Number 12 is February and number 11 is January. So what's your number 10, Mark? I'm going to go with August. August is going to be number 10 for me. There is some depression associated with this month. And that is very simply because it is truly the last call for summer. It's that point where you have realized, nope, I have not done. I did not set out. I've done like two out of the 10 things that I had planned to do during the summer. And now depression is setting in because I just don't have enough time. And maybe school is starting for you. Maybe you're a teacher and you're going back to school. Like things get serious. Think It's like... The Sunday scaries exist yep. in, in the entire month of August. So while the weather is pleasant and there are nice things that happen during August, I live in Chicago and there's all sorts of cool stuff like the the air show and there's still like cool stuff going on. But it is like the, it's a real August is a reality check like this. This greatness, this thing we call summer doesn't last forever and it's coming to an end. I think a lot of people might be shocked that we're even including a summer month on the lower end. But I am right there with you. August, mm-hmm. it's just hot hot as hell. Most of the time, especially in the Midwest, it's hot as hell. It's humid. It's no fun. You take a shower, you walk outside, you feel like you need to take a shower again. It's just, you, uh-huh. you do everything with sweat. Every You're always sweating. Everything you do, you're walking to the mailbox, you're sweating everywhere. But, you know, going to get some gas, you're sweating. It's always uh, sweat on the brow. There's no holidays in August. It's true. Serious. Like you said, you can't really enjoy it because school is coming and the days are just really, really long. So August, I think it's appropriately put there at number 10. Yeah, I think you, in August, you just want to you want to get home, you want to put your robe on and you want to go in your basement <laughs> and just stay cool. So and just and for do people pop- don't know, Brian Mitchell right now is broadcasting <laughs> in his basement with a robe on. So let, let us not be ambiguous about my comps. Exactly. What we were trying to do was the the normal procedure that we do in the in the website that we utilize is not working right now. So we're using Zoom. So this is the first time we've ever like physically looked at each other to do this. Yeah. So let me say maybe. Maybe we should just keep it picture off. Okay. It's yeah. This bad. is, this is talk about Sunday scary. This is uh, me Thursday. looking at you and you looking at me. We're too old to look good. That's right. Oh man. All right. So the next one is uh, number nine and that is March. Uh, okay. Here's the reason I got one word for March and that is raw. It's always a mix of like rain and snow in the Midwest. So you never know exactly what you're going to get. Personally, I think it's just an extension of February. It's just 31 days longer. You know, the highlight of this month is for all of those Irish and those who want to be Irish people who like to drink and just punch people out. That is what St. Patrick's Day is about, even though it's based on a holy man. Um, Lots of amateur hour drinking going 
on. There's a lot of girls holding hair by the toilet activities going mm-hmm. on. And then somewhere in there, you probably have Lent. So if you're Catholic, you know, you're you're probably giving up something. So it's just a really odd mix of different things going on and just not very pleasant. I don't find March pleasant. I It, it wants to be spring. It says it's spring. It's not spring. It's a highly volatile month. It really is. You can have a, it's a big tease because you can have a 75 degree day one day and then literally the next day the bottom can drop out and it could be 30 <laughs> degrees and snowing. And yeah. I am not down for that kind of volatility in my months. You know what I mean? Like I want to, I want a little bit of predictability when it comes to things like that. However, I will say this, here's the a couple good things about March. It, it is typically the first month in which you get that first 55 degree day Mm -hmm. where if you live in the Midwest and again, I live in Chicago and Brian lived in Chicago most of his life. It is like, it's like, it's like a, it's a reprieve. It's like this, Mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I'm going out, putting my shorts on and my Mm t-shirt and we get ridiculous because we're so (laughs) used to the, like relatively speaking, one should not be wearing shorts in 55 degree (laughs) weather, but it just feels so right. And I will say that is a wonderful, glorious feeling for my body and for my skin and for my psyche. So, and but then it goes soul. away. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Then, but then yeah. it goes away. So it's like, I don't know. So there's the good and the bad of March. And you can't spell Mark without the first three letters. Of March. That's right. So I you guess can't. that's a good thing, too. Yeah, that's so. wonderful. Hey, Mark, can you recap our list of where we're at right yeah, now? Yeah, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do that for you. Thank you. 12 February, 11 January, 10 August. And number nine, we have March. And you did March. So mm-hmm. I'm going to give you number eight. October, or do you say October, or do you say Rocktober? Oh, no, man, it's Rocktober. Rock- hey, man, it's Rocktober, everybody. It's Oktoberfest. It's always October something, man. Big time. Rocktober. Here's nine in a row from Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Rocktober. W. You know, there are. It is like Rocktober. Uh, like all the big rock blocks yeah. come thumping yeah. through on your rock-tober. classic rock station. It's Rocktober true. with great white. <laughs> <laughs> Rocktober with White Snake. Yeah, yeah, man. So, wow. I just all, realized October. All over at the Hammond, Hammond, Indiana Civic Center, yeah. man. <laughs> white Snake. With, great white. With vanilla ice opening, you know, with, like something like yeah, that. Yeah. With enough's enough. Um, <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, actually, now that when I think about it, October, yeah, probably better than I thought now that we get into this, <laughs> the, the rock. Night. It does make me think of Rocktober. It is, uh, yeah, but it's kind of a no man's land month actually it's uh it's it's certainly not november which where you have you know the grand prize of thanksgiving it is not december which has gets all the prizes and gifts Mm. literally uh it's the first real cold of the year and i think the redeeming value when it comes to october is halloween other than that i would if i had to do three word no man's land no okay uh october October. your bed rocktober enough's enough at the hammond civic center let me put a list together is brought to you by some guys go through life thinking do i smell right now so harry's makes three levels of protection for the way you sweat for the light sweaters the medium sweaters and the heavy sweaters because we all deserve to go through life with our wings up introducing the range of deodorants from harry's not the same home it looks a little different for everyone for some it's a rustic cabin for others a big city high rise and for others it's renting a tiny studio that said it had laundry in the building but the dryer's always broken and don't get me started on the gym that's not a gym it's an elliptical machine and a boiler room and let's not even discuss parking but no matter where you call home geico makes it easy to bundle and save on renters and car insurance easier than getting your landlord to return your calls you can't hide forever leonard And now, back to Let Me Put a List Together on the Podcast Entertainment Network. It's uh, enough's enough. <laughs> yeah, like What's one, like their popular song? I know. They, like, I, I can't remember. They had like one song. They're from like the Chicagoland area. That's all I remember. Okay. Anyways, um, so October, first of all, it's my birthday. 
That's my birthday that, oh, month. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I forgot. You were so yeah. gentle with me on January, I know. and then I'm a dick, and I didn't. You just got to remember, man, 10-4, good buddy. Uh, yeah. We got uh, fall. It's fall. Oh, it's it's cool, but not cold. Uh, playoff baseball. Come on, Mark. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I almost put. Hey, the almost, Cubs won it all in November, so it, it crossed. Dude, over it was the, it was the second. It was November second. That's <laughs> how. Uh, yeah, I yeah. almost did. I almost did a Doctor Seaver there for a bit. Come on, Mike. Uh, instead, of, <laughs> instead of come on, Mark. Um, playoff. It's always baseball. about growing pains with you, right. isn't it? All it your is. references. If you listen, Are, if you hang around with Brian Mitchell like on a regular <laughs> basis, he has like growing pains references constantly, <laughs> and nobody gets it. All about boner. Anyways, uh, and football, start of hockey season. And Mark, you like put like no emphasis on the great prize at the end of October. It's Halloween time. Kids love Halloween. Halloween. Eh, you kinda, Halloween. Ah, you touched it and walked away. Yeah, it was a okay, lick and a promise. Right. Right. Um, anyways, uh, Halloween time. You know, I love it with my kids now. I loved it when I was a kid. You got candy. It's apple and pumpkin everything. There's bonfires going on. Oh, it's a wonderful time time to be alive october All extremely right. extremely low on that list i'm not happy the freddie jones band in rocktober <laughs> gonna be live <laughs> at the civic amphitheater place <laughs> creek it's at poplar creek man yeah <laughs> rocktober. all right i i maybe i should have had it higher but it is what it is it okay. is what it is i'm gonna stick with it and you know we'll get to our individual lists a little later. All right. So I had that at eight. You're on to number seven. Big. Okay. Four. Number seven is going to be for me. It's September. September. It's not a bad month. It's like we're getting ready for the rest of the year month. And we're just starting to just, you know, the next three months, man, are just going to fly by. Let me do that again. Fly by. Okay. Nice. Thank you. School's kicking into gear. We still have some warm days, but things are starting to change. You know, everyone is focused in September on the next thing. You know, it's always like, okay, you know, after back to school is done, then we're thinking about what's going to go on for Halloween. Then after Halloween, it's like, we got to think about, you know, think about Thanksgiving. Well, who, where are we going? What are we doing? And then of course the big prize at the end of, of Christmas, all you're doing is thinking about fall stuff in September, getting ready for uh, Halloween and pumpkin spice. So that's what I think about mm -hmm. September. It's a nice breath of cool air, I think, just to kind of piggyback on some of the mm -hmm. things you were saying. Still predominantly nice weather. And one of the things that I like about September is that there's only a few times during the year, a few months in which one can, in the Midwest, Chicago, Minnesota, where one can wear a jacket. And I love jackets. I love jacket weather. I think jackets are cool. They're fun. They're versatile. How many, mem many member-only jackets do you, do you own now? The members only. You know, I actually, <laughs> I, I never owned a members only jacket, even when they were cool in the 80s. And there was a time, man, yeah. I was never allowed to have cool things. No, no. But at all. yeah, no, I think uh, September is, it's not like a big badass party month or anything like that. But it, there is, September is a safe place to be. Let's just say that. <laughs> all right. So September was mine. And uh, the next one is number what, Mark? So That'd be number it. six, Brian. If and we're, what is if it? We, what and is it, Brian, Mike? settle down, Brian. <laughs> Brian, I look at me, Brian. You know me. Look, yeah. <laughs> Keep, what are you what are you wearing under that their robe? Are you uh, naked or yeah, you got new boxers on? Are you serious? Absolutely. You're oh man. Gross. You're oh, just, it's wonderful. You're oh, it's so sick. freeing. All right. All it's right. Kinda like, All it's right. kind of like it's like shorts in March, Mark. It's just very freeing. Okay. All right. Good association. <laughs> I'm going to go with, all right, you're not going to like this. I don't think. I don't think no, anybody who's listening is going to like this, but no. I'm going to go with you're December. You're throwing it. Oh, December. Please. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, okay. I, I admit this is controversial placement, but, and Christmas is wonderful, but everything leading up to December 25th tends to be stressful. There's so many obligations that occur in December and we all try to please everybody by going to tons of Christmas parties. And it's the time of the month where you feel pressure just to see people. So it's they're real, up until that day where you actually just kind of like December, 
December 25th, Christmas actually feels like the only day where everything stops, you know, everything's <laughs> shopping and everybody's off work and there's nothing normal anymore. Like whatever schedule you were on, it's everybody's taking vacations, yep. work's not the same. It's just, it's an out of whack month for me, yeah. but I do, I do love Christmas and the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. As a good Christian man, you should. Um, December, so cool. it is, that's it. It's one word. It's Christmas, the Christmas season. I love it all. I get into Christmas, uh, especially because I have young kids. But uh, even when I didn't have kids, I I am, and you know this about me, Mark, I am all about the real Christmas tree. I like to go mm-hmm. out into a field. I like to cut it down. I like to, you know, I like to get my hands uh, with tons of sap for like the next three days on my hands. Just that feel of the tar. I love it all. I love to put the tree up. I name my trees, Mark. Every tree I name has like an old grandma name. So like last year was Mabel. The year before that was like Eleanor. I, for some reason, I just named them after old grandmas. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I love the Christmas parties. The family is excited. The kids are excited. You got the whole Santa thing, making Christmas cookies. I, you know, I enjoy Christmas music for like a, a week and just making great memories. I think December is awesome. And Do you remember when you, me, and our special friend, Kim, went mm-hmm. for you, We you dragged us along mm-hmm. to go help, or we're, no, 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 we were getting her tree. Yes. Kim wanted, That's a, right. I'm a, sorry. A, a work friend of mine wanted a real tree. And I said, yeah, I can put it up for you. I know how to put them up. I, you know, you've, get it you kind of got to cut the bottom off so the it's like a big plant basically in your house so and she was like on the top floor of like some three flat That's or right. something do you That's remember we right. were like had to carry it all the way up. Was and like, it wasn't sucks. i know and it was like mark you were probably like you know what i'll just go buy you a fake one where you put it it's in a box i'm walking up myself it's like no neither wanna... of us is dating you no exactly <laughs> Uh, but she was single. She wanted a, a tree, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. but anyways, yeah. that, that, that's a yeah. good, but we did, we, we put it up there and I think like she forgot to like water it and that thing died. And I remember it's like, it had just, uh, needles and stuff all the way down those stairs. Cause it just, it died. So you got to keep your tree up to make your tree happen. So I never knew your, so I knew you had gotten real trees throughout your mm-hmm. life. But I never realized the enthusiasm level. It sounds like you're ready to do a podcast on Christmas trees. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah. It's it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do one once a month. It's going to cover Christmas trees and what type. No, you just do it every December, every, or no, no, you just do it one every November. It's the annual (laughs) Brian Mitchell. This is how you, (laughs) how to take care of a Christmas tree. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. The whole process, like getting in the car, you got to have a good truck with a, with a good bed. You got to protect that tree. I I will. I, I have a video of me going to Indiana because I was living in Chicago at the time and me and like uh, my wife, we have a video of us going to get the tree, searching for the tree, bringing it home, decorating it, the whole thing. It's on YouTube. Maybe I'll add it to our, uh, let me put a list together around Christmas time. That sounds so good. There's somebody listening right now who is like, all right, come on, get to the top five. Hey Mark, hold it right there. Uh, We'll be right back. You're listening to let me put a list together on the podcast entertainment network. All right. I did December controversial pick. What have you for number five as we get into the top five. Number five is is going to be July. Uh, I think it's a safe place at five. It's the good time month. That's what I call it. Summer's in full swing. Fourth of July, you know, you're blowing off your hands with uh, fireworks that you're getting over uh, from, you know, Indiana, which are illegal in Illinois. Uh, You got friends and family there. Alcohol replaces water as hydration. You know, no need to drink water. Just have another beer. Pools and the beach are open. You know, you're just being outside as much as possible, especially in Minneapolis here, it's like we don't get outside during the winter a ton, but I'll tell you, everybody is outside every day during the summer. You just keep reminding yourself in like six months, you know what? It's going to be cold. It's going to be, you know, nine feet of snow just out there, you know, burning and and, and getting, uh, what is it, sun poisoning. Anyways, uh Great memories of riding bikes until the streetlights came on back when we were kids. You know, you had the ice cream man. We would play out all day in July. I mean, it was just a good time. I have great memories of July and uh, still do. So July, safe at five. 
Yeah, no, and I think safe's a good where it's a very again a comfortable place to be. If if July was like a new house and you were showing it off, you'd be like, oh, this is just delightful. Yeah. I guess there's really not like oh, every room is perfect. The sight yeah. lines are great. If yep. it was a state, you'd be like, there's no bad seat in exactly. this month, right? Well, that's, I would find I would find a bad seat. You would. Seat's that's not. right. Yeah, seat's Brian Mitchell. We're learning a lot about Brian Mitchell. <laughs> Brian Mitchell. Yeah. Sidebar. Seat Brian seat Mitchell, snob. complete seat snob. If you go to a ball game with him, he needs space. Would if you go to a restaurant with him? I swear to God, I would say maybe 40% of the time that yep. I've been out to dinner with you, you have rejected yeah. the host's offering yeah. for a table. Absolutely. Okay, can we get absolutely. that table instead? Yep. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I need it. You know, it's like, you know, I got to have my uh, my back to the, uh, you know, the back of the building, you know, because it's, you know, mafia type stuff going on. Yeah, totally. Got to keep an totally. eye on everything that's going on. Yeah. It's a little OCD, yeah. but you know what it is. But uh, yeah, July, it's all warm. Fourth of July is brilliant. You're in that, you're in your element for summer. Like you're in the midst of it. Like you've got your summer routine down by July, like June, you're still trying to figure it out. Maybe you're finishing <laughs> up a project or school. July, it's like, yeah, I got this. Mm -hmm. I got, I know what's up. I know what I'm doing every day in summer. So yeah, it's a, it's, July is a great place to be, man. So I, I'm glad it made our top five. Absolutely. All right. Right, July was mine at five. So what's number four for you, Mark? I'm going to go with for number four, April. Okay. April. I'm it's interested very, to hear this. Yeah. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah. You just full Brian just folded his arms in his <laughs> big gray robe. <laughs> it's a very happy and spiritual month. Easter. It, uh, it says Easter to me. It also, okay. I don't know when technically spring starts. It's probably like some weird like March 16th or something like that. 21st. Right? Like, it's all right. It is. But wow. See, Look. but April to me, April is is spring. Mm -hmm. And there is just a, there's a cuddly feeling to April. It's um, uh, the, the spiritual aspect to it. The temps are good. Um, I'm already repeating myself. <laughs> oh my God. April. It's spiritual again. <laughs> and it's wow. Easter again. Brian. Okay. Take it, all right. Take please. It. I got please. I have to, April. I have to, I have to I was just save shit you up here. From yeah. This. Save me from my uh, spirituality. Uh, me feel <laughs> Cool. <laughs> what the hell are you I, talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, man. Get in touch with the show through email at lists at podcastentertainment.com. Chris, come and turn the TV, turn your house into ah. Hey! You like your drinks, nice and cold, but the sensitive teeth thing is getting old. Yeah. Time to say Bye. goodbye to the pain, because having sensitive teeth, teeth is just so lame. Chris, come and turn the TV, turn your house into of sensitivity starts at the gum line. Treat it at the source with Crest Gum and Sensitivity. Crest, healthy, beautiful smiles for life. Papa, why can't we telegraph while riding a horse? Son, there ain't no one to blame but Jeffro. He was riding old Betsy the Stallion, tip-tapping away at his telegraph, when blam, ran right into the side of the saloon. Well, if Jeffro can't do it, neither should you. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. And now, back to Let Me Put a List Together on the Podcast Entertainment Network. Uh, April has an identity complex because it's oh, supposed see, that's to be so good. That's yeah. so good. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. yeah. So April has an identity <laughs> complex. <laughs> it's supposed to be spring, but it still holds on to like the rawness of March. You know, it wants to be spring so bad. It just can't seem to break, you know, it's old ways, you know, Easter, Sometimes it falls in that month, so you'll be eating ham. You'll know that. Easter candy with a visit from the Easter Bunny. Then, you, of course, you have that uh, Easter Bunny that the Easter Bunny gets you with the hollow center, and it'll be half eaten and on your dresser until June. And then uh, you also have April Fool's Day. And I have a quick story. When my son was probably about five years old, we were at like some funny little gift shop or trick shop or something. We were shopping, and I saw fake dog poop. So what I did was I bought it, and it was right 
around uh, April Fool's. So I went and I took the dog poop and I put it on the steps up to um, our living room. And I and I put it up there. We're both walking in to the house. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, man, Jojo, look what Jojo did, Quincy. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, did, did you see this? And I said, don't step in it. And then I went and I picked it up and I put the plastic poop in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could have seen the look on my five, six year old son's face, it was like he was he just couldn't believe what was transpiring. He was like, uh, you know, his his eyes yeah. were just like he gave me like the the you know, he just smelled a fart face. It was like, what are you doing? And I took it out. Of course, I said, it's fake. At, you know, April Fool's. Was, Holy cow. If you could have seen his face, it was worth every I, I, I would imagine he's had to sort of live with that <laughs> trauma. <laughs> That therapy. sort of mid, yeah, like, 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 like he's 27. He's like, yeah, one time my dad ate poop. And I, have not, I haven't known how to deal with it or associate with it all these years. And he doesn't know what he did to me. My dad my, ate poop. Yeah. Yeah, my it dad, was you, dad. Yeah. My dad also wears a robe all the time. <laughs> Give me back my son. Oh, man. All right. So that I, is uh, April, the identity complex month. Yeah, very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's so funny. Like the, you mentioned the April Fool's thing of a trigger. And you, by the way, you crushed April. So you, you saved the show. I just <laughs> have to tell you. In radio now, I know you don't do terrestrial radio right now, but you used to and you do all your, uh -huh. your voice work and stuff. But in terrestrial radio these days, I work at the score. There's a there's a memo that comes out from the top tops of the corporation that tells us every year, no jokey jokies on April Fool's Day. Don't be doing that because yeah. of lawsuits and all that yeah. crap. The fun has been ruined through the years, unfortunately, with, with people being distressed by it. So You know, what's, yeah. you know what's interesting, though, is I remember when I was like, you know, in, in high school and I would go, you know, listen to the radio at night to put myself to sleep. And then, of course, the radio would be on all night and then I'd wake up and it'd be the morning guy. So I remember on April Fool's, what they always used, I used to listen to WGCI, which was like an R&B station. They had slow R&B music and it put, put me to sleep. And then I'd wake up and it'd be like the Doug Banks show or whatever. And I woke up and there was like man cow on the show. And I was like, like what? what? I was like, and you know, he's like, yeah, you know, we've taken over, you know, I'm, I'm the new morning guy at WGCI, da, 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 and going through all this stuff. And I'm like, what is I, you know, when you're waking up and you're trying to register what's going on. And then finally, and they just kept the joke going like for, for the four hours that they were on, oh they just God. stayed on. Wow. So, and I was like, Oh my gosh. Okay. Now it's April fools. I get it. That's what they're doing. And then Doug Banks would be on like, you know, whatever the other rock station. Yeah, we got so. you guys. We yeah. got you guys. <laughs> America. Anyways. Uh, so oh that's, that's what I know about April. All right. All right. We are into the top three now. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I did April cause I, I started it off and it was bad. And then you saved the show. Yeah. So why don't you keep your momentum rolling with number three, big boy. Number three, May. Ah, okay. May is probably going to be like how your April was with me. Okay. It's just the safe and sturdy month. It's, it's warmer weather. People just seem happier in May. And of course, you know, one of the great holidays is celebrated in May, Mother's Day. It's a great weekend. It's usually warm yes. and fun and sun's out and all the flowers are starting to bloom and the trees are getting leaves and it's, you know, just ready. It's that ready to kick off summer month. And once you get to the end of that, you know that, you know, after Memorial Day, man, party is on. It's a great month. It's an exciting month. That is my May at number three. Hey, shout out to Ann, shout out to Jean, our mothers, mothers, you're right. May is all about 100% about Mother's Day. That is truly the, the highlight that uh, exists in the month of May. It is to, again, to piggyback on what you were saying. It, um, it is a gateway to June. It is, you could see the greatness. It's like a window. That's what May is. It's a window. <laughs> you look out and you're like, ah, uh. I see. See it land, <laughs> land. It is there. I uh -huh. see it I... through the window. Oh, it's getting closer. <laughs> and then, and then June hits and things are so. Yeah, man. June is June's top fucking notch. Or excuse me, May is top notch the greatest gateway of all time so I, yes I, I love i love may at number all right so that is my number three mark you have number two we're getting to the top two go 
All right, here's a quick recap before I give you number two. 12 February, 11 January, 10 August, 9 March, 8 October, 7 September, 6 December, 5 July, 4 April, 3 May. I'm laughing right now, Brian, because I'm thinking like, well, we really run out of ideas for this podcast. <laughs> we'll do we'll we'll do the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I love 13. There's Friday the 13th. I love 12 because it has two names, a dozen. <laughs> 10 was my favorite number growing up because 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 Dave Kingman wore number yeah. 10. I remember like number 14 was my favorite because I was the big kid on the baseball team okay. and they and the okay. sizes went by the sizes went by numbers so you know the the large sizes would be the bigger numbers and the small guys would get like the smalls would be number one so yeah. All right, we got to take a quick break. More Let Me Put a List Together is next on the Podcast Entertainment Network. My number two on our collective list will be November. And look, let's let's face it. It doesn't really, it's not much of a reach for me to say that November is Thanksgiving. It is thanks, mm. absolute Thanksgiving domination. Plus, it is the start of Christmas. I mean, it, it, it has gotten a little bit carried away with, with December barging in on mm. the food month. Just a little bit too much. But I, yeah, I mean, there, I, I love Thanksgiving and... And I, it's, it's like, you know, in November, November is a tune up in a way mm -hmm. for December. Cause it does come on hinge a little bit. Like people taking long, like weeks off, like the vacation season yeah. begins in November. And I don't like that because uh, you lose regularity. Things are not open as much. Again, work is weird and days off and stuff like that. But I mean, come on. F filling a plate full of Thanksgiving food, I'm down. Absolutely, November. It's you know, it's start. It's time to start bringing out the coats, man. And I don't know uh, if if you live in a neighborhood and you have your own home or whatever. It's time to clean up the godforsaken leaves one last time because what happens is, especially here, it's like mine fall in like periods. So it's like one tree will fall and then this other tree will fall and there'll be a huge pile. I'll pick all those up, work a long, hard day on that. And then there's always this one tree that just holds on forever until, you know, just about November. And then I have to go out there and clean those up. So I'm not a big fan of that. Not a <laughs> well, your life is just tough. Isn't My it, life Brian sucks Michael? in the burbs. Cause I do. Hey, I, I lived in Chicago for how many years? And That's I lived, true. In, okay. I lived okay. in buildings where I didn't have to cut the lawn and I didn't have to worry about leaves. I didn't have to do any of that. And that just four years ago, all of a sudden it's like, oh, got to get a lawnmower. Oh, got to start cleaning the leaves. So. I pity you from the 35th floor of my high rise in downtown <laughs> Chicago. And then of course, after that, there is a glorious holiday of all fat boys holidays. And that is Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's right. You love Thanksgiving. Oh, absolutely. You. You, you know what I love about Thanksgiving? It only requires you to show up, eat and take a nap. That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. You may have to bring a dessert, you know, that you can pick up at the now store. Now you probably don't. You got a host now, probably, right? Do you feel the pressure? No, well, no, because nice that's, well, that's, no, that's why I moved away. Um, oh, so I don't have to host anymore. Nobody, that's right. That's you got the away only, from that's us. the only reason I moved is to not host any holidays. God, no, you're <laughs> mean. <laughs> no, they could come up. They just won't. They, leaving their section, like, you know, Indiana or whatever, it's like, it's like to leave the state, they have to prepare like they're leaving for Afghanistan. I think they're getting like, they're getting, you know, their, their passports, <laughs> They want to make sure that the trip is safe. I have no idea. My family from Indiana, that's that's what they do. So they never come see me. Oh, no, I just take that back. A few have and some good friends. Uh, sweatpants, pajamas and stretch pants all day for everyone. Mm, yeah, it's the course, weight gain month. It's a weight right. gain month. And totally. the next day, of course, after people are going and doing the Black Friday thing, which we don't do. We usually go as a family and get that. Guess what we get, Mark? You know what we get, bro. The Christmas tree. Oh, the Christmas oh, right. tree. Oh, yes. uh, yeah, Christmas tree. And then we kick of off the holidays. Kick off of the holidays. You guys are too cute. Oh, we are. Uh, so that is number two. That is November. So number one, Mark, there's only one month left. And what is it, Mark? The number one it's, is mine. Is that mine or yours? Yeah, it is yours. But if you want me to go, I can go. I mean, no, it's it's your turn. Go. All right. Here is the number one on the collective. It's June. It's, it's June. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, June. It's, it's summer in Chicago. Street fest, concerts, the whole thing. Sorry, I couldn't contain myself. All right. Yeah. Baseball, full swing, start of summer activity. 
activity. School is out. People are barbecuing. Everybody's going on vacation. Me personally, I always use that time to start going to see friends and family uh, in other parts of uh, the country, like Chicago and wherever else I can visit friends. Uh, I only have three. Um, so, and Mark is one of them. You can I, take go me see, off that I, list. I definitely go see. Okay. I have two now. I was, I was meaning to talk to you about our friendship. I just think that we've spent a little bit too much time. Too much time with the show. Friends. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so, I think I mean, we need a break. A break. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a good time. I wouldn't rank it as number one in my personal list, but Hey, you know, Mark, you go, you tell me what you think about Junior. I, I know, know you've you already had to make it personal. You just I did. Personal, I did have to yeah. make it personal. I did. Yeah. I did the number one. It's not. It's I not. pretty much blew my load already. <laughs> it's fucking summer in Chicago. That's yeah, it. Man. I mean, there's really, there's really nothing more to say. It's just it. It June smells good. It <laughs> feels good. It's it's like it. It is kind of amateur month too because everybody's like just so ready to get outside and mm -hmm. be one with summer yep. that it gets a little silly and hyper in June. That, yeah. That's why really the midst of summer really is is like we talked about with July where you have like you, you got a pattern now. You're not going out every mm -hmm. single single night but june is just it's like mardi gras in mm -hmm. chicago absolutely it's or the midwest it's like it's time to go like you said put the bathing suit go to the beach all the things that we couldn't do for the last four months previous to it <laughs> you may you may now do you may now enter the world absolutely. so that's why june rocks but not it doesn't rock as much as rock tober <laughs> yeah yeah, man. Rock too, man. Bad for man. Bad for man. <laughs> Enough's enough. White snake. <laughs> All coming to the Hammock Civic Center in Indiana. So here is my list of my favorite months in order. Number 12, January. Number 11, August. Number 10, February. Number 9, March. Number 8, September. Number 7, July. Number 6, April. And my top five. Number five, May. Number four, November. Number three, June. Very close to number one. Number two, uh, October. Right. Birthday month. Number one, the beautiful, wonderful, cozy and warm December. Fair enough. Number 12, I had February, 11, August, 10, October, 9, January, 8, November, 7, December, Ooh. Mm. 6, I had July, 5, I had March, 4, April, 3, September, 2, May, and number one, it's summer in Chicago, June. All right, Mark. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, yes. This has been delightful. This this is been next delight week, we're going to do the letters, our favorite letters, <laughs> <laughs> top 15 letters. So, yeah. So this was fun. We got some other good stuff planned. I have another robe that I'll be wearing next session. Hey, don't forget, we have all kinds of lists. Check out our past lists and subscribe. If you're at uh, Apple or Spotify, subscribe. You'll find out when our shows pop up. We usually do them every Tuesday. So uh, just check us out. All right. For Mark Grody, I'm Brian Mitchell. And this this has been Let Me Put a List Together on the Podcast Entertainment Network. Enjoying this podcast? Be sure to check out all the other PEN podcasts by visiting www.podcastentertainment.com.